What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Just decided to make a little video since uh, I got to tackle this job anyway. I really couldn't find anything online about it, so I decided to make one so I can help everybody else out with the same similar problem. I, um, my kid's complaining that the sound is not really working on his, uh, little entertainment center thing here. So, uh, I did some research and, uh, found out that really you just have to clean the little, uh, dial for the volume because my player works fine. As you can see, nothing wrong with that. And the issue that we're having is when you turn the dial, the sound just goes like the opposite direction. You turn the dial, you dial up, the sound goes down and vice versa. Or it just cuts out completely to one speaker or something. So either way, it's kind of jacked up. And he watches this thing almost every day. So I want to fix it for him. Gives, gives us peace too. And we're up front talking, me and his mom's, because he's in the back with his headphones on, his own little world. So I have to fix this thing. <laughs> I, um, I've, uh, taken most of it apart already to kind of get it working and make sure this, this, uh, procedure is going to work before I even, you know, gave this advice to you guys. So basically what you want to do is take it off. You have little clips that just hold this thing on this cover. You want to grab each side with both hands and just pull it down. That's all you want to do. Grab each side with both hands. It's kind of hard with one hand, but you could do it easier with two hands. You want to grab each corner and pull it down until it comes off. You just have these little things here. They just sit in the holes. That's all it is. And they pop right out. They're meant to come out because this cover is meant to come off. And then once you get this off set it to the side and then you come in here you want to why is this thing not focusing there we go you want to unplug your harness just a little tab regular old harness pop that out get that out of the way it sits on this right here normally but it just slides right off of that then you have four screws one here one here, one there, and then one in the back. I've already removed them already because I did this already. But take those screws out, and then you have two tabs on the back of it, which I'll show you in a minute. Just take it off. And then your other one. Then once you get all four screws out, it's held in by two little clip, plastic clips, and then it sits on two little black tabs right there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Right there. They're kind of like this. It just it just rests on those. Pull it out from the back tabs first. And then you just slide it off the little tabs in, in the metal tabs on the inside like that. See, those little metal tabs there. That's all you gotta do. And then you have it off. So now, let's take it inside and I'll show you what to do. Okay, now we're inside. You have all you need right here. Get your little tiny screwdriver set, you know. I have a, uh, what is this? Well, that was bad. I have a pH 7 or pH 1, whatever that is. pH 1. And that's all you need. You just want to come in here. You have two screws. It's 
I'm glad they make this like this easy where you can, you know, service things or you can replace these things if you want to. Actually, you don't even have to try to clean them like I'm doing. And you have your little wire harness on the back. You just pull that right out. It pulls right out. It just pulls right out. So once you get down to the nitty gritty, you have to take this off. What I did was I tried prying on these sides right here and then the other side and then the bottom. I took a flathead and then went in there and then pried up on it and pulled it off at the same time. That's how you get it off. It's not really that hard. Once you figure that out, get that off. Just try to be gentle with it. You know, you don't want to break it. Um, then you have down to this. When you get the cover off, it looks like this. There's your aux. There's your aux. And there's your volume dial. There's your volume dial. So all you want to do is take a flathead, go in there, pry up on it very slightly. Pry up on it very slightly. I'm not going to, I already did it already, but you know, once you do that, then you take a little bit of a electric contact cleaner or, you know, something equivalent to it. I'm using mass airflow cleaner because, I mean, this stuff is sensitive for, you know, delicate sensors too. It works, this stuff works just as good. I take that and I spray a little bit up in there in the inside. Spray a little bit in there in the inside between the board and the dial. Just little squirts, you know, little squirts. And then when you get done with that, turn the dial back and forth several times. All the way to end, stop to stop. Kind of press down, press down on the dial as you're doing it so it can kind of clean that board off in there, disc, disc board in there. And then, you know, squirt it again if you feel a little better board. Just do it twice. Squirt it a couple times in there again. Then do the same process again. And that's it. It's pretty much that simple. You can kind of blow it with a little compressed air if you want to. But you want to just clean it. You know, there's a little thing. I don't, you probably won't be able to see it in here. There's a little tiny thing in there that reads the board. It's a little U-shaped thing. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. But it's in there. That, um, you just want to get that cleaned off. And then, you know, the way you took it apart, put it back together again the same way. Put the cover back on. Then put it back down. Plug it up first. And then screw it back down. You know, do both of them. Then you're good to go. Take it back to the car, put it back in the same way you took it out. The little hooks, metal hooks first, slide it on those first, and then press the back part in, and then put your cover back on. Don't forget to plug up your wire harness, and you're good to go. It's pretty simple. That worked for me, because, I mean, I wasn't about to buy a whole new system just for this, so that's all you got to do. Uh, you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you, you know, as usual. But until next time, peace.